Ciao a tutti! Hello everyone! Welcome to Fly High, where you're going to be flying high in language learning with me, Francesca. In this lesson, we'll be learning the regular verbs of the third group in Italian, the verbs in ire. Let's explore them together. Verbi regolari in ire. Regular verbs in ire. Let's see what they are. Dormire, for instance. Dormire means to sleep. So how does it conjugate? It goes, io dormo. Io dormo. I sleep. Tu dormi. Tu dormi. You sleep. Lui dorme, lui dorme, he sleeps, lei dorme, lei dorme, she sleeps, noi dormiamo, noi dormiamo, we sleep, voi dormite, voi dormite, you sleep, e loro dormono, loro Dormono. They sleep. So how do we uh, conjugate? Basically, we you have the infinitive that terminates in ire. And what do you do from the infinitive? You take away the ire and you add all the terminations that I um, that I put in uh, red. So to the root. So you got dormire, infinitive. Ire is the termination, let's say, of the infinitive form. You take away that one. And to the root... Dorm, you put all the uh, terminations of the present tense. Uh, as we mentioned in the other previous lessons for the verbs in are and ere, all verbs in Italian fall within three groups. We got are, ere, and ire, the, the infinitive form. So this is, uh, this is done the same way as for the other two groups that from the infinitive, uh, from the infinitive termination, you just take that away and you add the appropriate terminations of the specific group. So hopefully this is all clear and also some terminations repeat. You can see here, if you know the verbs in, um, in are and ere, you will see the io dormo, the o is the same for the other two verbs and also is the same in the to form, for instance. So you can see some uh, similarities as well. And uh, in examples, examples of the verbs in uh, ire that conjugate like dormire are aprire, to open, coprire, to cover, mentire, to lie, offrire, to offer, partire, to leave, to depart, scoprire, to discover, seguire, to follow, Sentire, to hear, to feel, and servire, to serve. Now, the verbs in ire can be split into two categories. Verbs like dormire and the list that we just seen, and verbs like capire and the, next, uh, and the list that I'm going to be showing in the next slide. So, capire is to understand. So, there's two categories of verbs in ire. So, regular, more regular verbs in ire, and slightly irregular verbs in ire. As you can see here, uh, capire, what does capire do? How does it conjugate? So capire adds uh, this particle isk, ish, depending on uh, where it falls in the person's here, yeah, in pronunciation, to have the io, tu, lui, lei, and the loro form. Mm? So let's see here, io capisco, io capisco. I understand. Tu capisci. Tu capisci. You understand. Lui capisce. Lui capisce. He understands. Lei capisce. Lei capisce. She understands. Noi capiamo. Noi capiamo. We understand. Voi Capite, voi capite, 
you understand? E loro capiscono. Loro capiscono. They understand. So you see here, so if we weren't to put in this is, is ISC uh, to uh, determinations that I highlighted in Pilot, you would have been your capo, to capi, lui cape, without that particle. So it's just not um, conjugated this way. So it's got this extra particle that you put in in between the root and the termination. The terminations are still the same. We just got this extra particle to put in between the root and the termination. So, capisco, capisci, capisce, capisce. And then, capiamo and capite, noi and voi are regular. And then we got loro, again, the adds this um, isk, capiscono. And like capire... All these verbs also conjugate in the same way. So they add the isk uh, particle between the root and the termination. So you guys just have to memorize them, really. There's no other way that you can know whether a verb conjugates like um, capire or whether it conjugates regularly like dormire. So it's just a, it's a question of memorization, like pure and simple memorization. So agire. Agire is to act, colpire, to hit, costruire, to build, finire, to finish, gestire, to manage, guarire, to heal, pulire, to clean, preferire, to prefer, and suggerire, to suggest. This list is not extensive, but at least it's a few of the most popular, the most used verbs that conjugate like capire. Mm? And uh, I would like you now to do a little exercise. So um, you will have to translate these following sentences into Italian using the verbs that are indicated in the list, in this presentation. I'm going to put the solutions in the comment section down below for you to check out. I open a bottle of wine. I open a bottle of wine. We are discovering the world. We are discovering the world. Number three, they live, they are living tomorrow. They live or are living tomorrow. Number four, I clean the house, <coughs> sorry, I clean the house every Saturday. I clean the house every Saturday. Saturday. And five, mom prefers tea. Mom prefers tea. So have a try and let me know how it goes. And this concludes our lesson. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode. Alla prossima! Ciao ciao!